How's it guys? I'm Kylie Garden Guy and today myself and Mayfred are going to be showing you exactly how to grow your very own delicious summer fruit right at home from seed. Right guys, so let me show you how to plant some watermelon. Now let me just put these seeds aside. Cool, so when it comes to growing watermelon, it's a very cool way of planting them in a basin. Right, now that means there's enough water available for the plants and you plant a bunch of plants alongside each other and then thin them out as they mature. And that's gonna make sure you've got enough space for these guys to grow and it's gonna make sure that they get everything they need to produce those delicious melons that you enjoy in the summertime. Right, so let's get started. I've got a bit of soil prepared over here. I've got reasonably enough space over here. I'm in my vegetable patch. And uh, what you want to do is add some compost to your garden, right? So I've just got some normal garden compost going in. And basically you just want to amend your soil with this stuff. And as you'll know, <coughs> that's to add some nutrients to your soil, but also it's going to improve your drainage. Right, really important, especially when it comes to plants that can sort of fall prey to mold you. You want to make sure there's enough drainage. Right, so adding some compost into our soil over here and just get this cultivated nicely lovely so we've got some nutritious soil available for our plants next thing we want to do is create a basin and we're going to be planting on the edge of this basin now a basin is a round sort of disc shape and it's basically just going to be a mound in a in a circle really so let me get started with that you see our soil is nicely cultivated. We're going to start just creating a little burrow in the center and then I'm going to work my way right around that. Right, go all the way around. There we go. You want this about up to about half a meter in diameter. I like to get my hands dirty when I'm in the garden, as most gardeners do. Right, so we're just going to make sure we build beautiful little mound over here look at the basin forming here do you see what i'm talking about this is the basin and we've got the edges coming all along here right so just firm that slightly not too much into place right cool stuff there's our basin and now we want to be sowing our seeds. This is the all sweet variety from Mayfit. Love these guys. Right, and there's plenty of seeds in here. Right, so we've opened up our packet of seeds and in here are so many of these guys. I mean, they almost fill up my hand. There's so many seeds. A bunch of watermelon seeds. I'm sure most of you will be familiar <laughs> with what these look like. You want to plant about 10 watermelon seeds in this basin, okay? We're going to space them evenly apart. All right, so I'm just going to start doing that. And basically, you're planting on the top, on the upper edge of this basin, okay? Not inside, not in the middle, or all around, on the top of it, okay? And you want to plant these, again, about one and a half times as deep as they are large. Here we go, and just stick him into his little home. And again, space them evenly apart. There's our seed. We're going to stick him in. That's all of them. All right. And all along the edge, we've got our little watermelon seeds in. Now what we're going to do is just come and back fill these little holes firm the seeds in nicely into place not too deep there we go just even that out get rid of any rocks and debris because we don't want anything hindering these guys when they germinate and it's really quite as simple as that guys next obviously you want to add some water as always after sowing your seeds and what's going to happen is this basin is going to collect that water and as these plants mature the roots will have access to this little pool of water and the plants will spill over to the side. Now, as always, you want to make sure you pay close attention to these guys. Give them some love, guys. You've got to give them attention. You can't just plant a seed and leave it and hope to come back and pick a watermelon. It's not quite how it works. They need some love, right? So we're going to add some water into this. And then as they come up, 
you're going to come and pick out every second one, right? Or all the weaker plants. You want to end up with only five watermelon plants at most in this little basin. And quite honestly, with the space I've got here, this is going to be way too many. So as they come up, I'm going to make sure to only leave the plants that I have space for. All right, really important, uh, especially if you want to avoid illnesses and uh, all sorts of mildews and things that could build up on these plants. All right, so there you go. That's quite simply how you plant watermelon.